Hello, everyone. My name is KJ, and I am the host of Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. In today's video, I bring to you my top 10 movies and shows to get you in the mood for the spooky season slash Halloween. This is the top 10. This is for the people who want to put their Halloween de decorations up right now in the month of September. Some of it like I am doing as we're recording this. I haven't finished it all, but it will be all decorated. This is for the people who cannot wait for Halloween, who's a big fan of Halloween and loves horror movies, slasher movies, the classic movies that represent Halloween. And you want to get in that mood and you want to start off early. I got a top 10 that you may like, you may disagree. You may not like any of these, but that's okay. I do it for you guys, for the people out there in the internet, all over around the world who are ready for some Halloween, who's ready for the spooky, scary stuff. So I got you. And don't worry, everybody. This is a non spoiler. So nothing here I'm going to spoil. It's just my top 10 movies and shows. So. Let's start off with the very first one. And number one, we got to start it off with this Scooby-Doo. No, I cannot do the voice or I will not try to do Scooby-Doo's voice. But I'm talking about Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. This was something a all-time favorite of mine of a Scooby-Doo series that I grew up watching, especially around the Halloween time. Like this was my go-to movie as a child. When I saw it on television or, you know, when my mom rented it at Blockbuster Family Video. Yes, I'm that old, but I watched it on VHS, so y'all got to go with that one. And if it's on whatever streaming service available, definitely watch this because it's a classic. It has that Halloween love and it's Scooby-Doo. And I know, I know, I know you can watch Scooby-Doo anytime, any season. Any day, any month, any holiday. But if you're going to get in the spooky season for Halloween, you might as well start with Scooby-Doo. So that's my number one for that. Number two, Scream. Now, if you're going to watch a Scream film, you might as well watch the first one. Scream 1, the one that started it all. Scream, the classic. If you like that, if you're ready, if you're ready, if you're ready. For that stalker slasher don't answer your phone at this time this is the movie this is the movie to start with and it's a blockbuster hit this is what people still watch to this day and of course it made that iconic halloween mask of scream that we all know and even love if we can dare to say that i don't know but that's number two now Let's talk about number three. I'm going to do a TV show. Netflix is Wednesday, season one. Watch the whole season. I know they're coming out with a season two. Not sure if it's out this year or next year or the year after. Not sure. But I know there is going to be a season two. So you might as well watch season one just in case. And it's such a great show. Uh, the star of it is so great. And... You know, you can't go wrong with Wednesday if you're a fan of the Adam family. And it's got it all, and it it can get you ready for Halloween. So we got to do that one. And now we'll go to number four. And this one is another show that I personally like, and I'm still watching it. I'm still watching it, guys. But don't, don't hate on me on that. This one's a little bit out of the park. Why would I ever mention this? But I got to because I dare to challenge people. AMC's Discovery of Witches. This one, whew, it's on AMC Plus, and I know it's on Netflix, but this is a show I highly recommend to watch. Great cast. I believe there's only, I don't I think there's only two seasons, but this is really great. I'm still watching it. I'm not finished yet. I'm almost done, but not yet. But I, so far, I'm loving it. I'm loving where the story's going. I'm loving the characters, and I'm loving the plot of this. So 
I would highly recommend watching this. I'm watching this on Netflix. So there may be more seasons on AMC Plus if you have it. But definitely check out those seasons too. So is how many seasons out there? Watch them all. Binge watch it. That's what I'm saying. But I'm enjoying this. And this should definitely, you guys should check it out. Number five. Five times. Five times. Okay. Shout out to Book Two. But uh, Godzilla minus one. Now, this one is a Godzilla film that I truly like. This is a Godzilla film that has a lot of callbacks to the classic Godzilla films that were black and white. It has that feel to it. And this, I like all the Godzilla movies. I like Godzilla and Kong uh, New Empire. Or Empire, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> but anyway, it's not Godzilla versus King Kong. This is just Godzilla versus the humans. The people. The innocent people. This is the classic Godzilla where he comes out and terrorizes people. And then he goes back in the water. Gotta love it. And if you want to get scared by maybe not a ghost or somebody who stalks you with a scream mask, and maybe, and maybe, maybe that's not ready yet. Maybe you're not ready for that. But you want to be start getting spooked. Maybe Godzilla can get you in the mood for Halloween. This is the one. Godzilla minus one should be the one you should be watching for that experience and that Halloween spooky season feel. So let's go with that. Yeet. Number six, The Last of Us, season one. There is a season two on the way, but just in case, you should watch season one. This is a like zombie type like movie, or not movie, but show, I should say. But it's not zombies. If you're a fan of the video game Last of Us, and you're trying to get in Halloween spirit, that spooky season feeling. This is the show to watch. Season one's out on Max. Definitely check that out. It's fun. I enjoyed it. This is probably one of the best game adaptation. Like, I love Sonic. I love the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, Twisted Metal. I like that. I this is one of them. Last of Us, it's got it. Like Great actors and actresses, and they all did an amazing performance. And not a lot of episodes, but so worth it. And I know you guys are going to love it. And if you have seen it, go watch it again. Like Get ready for Halloween. Get in that Halloween spooky season feeling. Like Get ready. Like It's going to be so much fun for you. And all of us. So let's go to number seven, Final Destination. Now, if you're going to watch a Final Destination, you might as well watch the first one. You can't go wrong with the first one because that's what started it all. Now, if you're, if you just want to start kind of slow and maybe, maybe you're somebody who enjoys those paranoia activity stuff, the, the stuff where you're, Turn around, like I just turn around. Look, look to your left, look to your right. Look, you know, whatever. This is the film, Final Destination. When you think you think of the worst thing that can happen to you in your daily life, this happens. You're driving, a giant tree falls and comes at you. You're you're you might see in this film where somebody gets stuck in, in a swimming pool. You never know. It's Final Destination. You can't stop the destination, right? <laughs> so maybe maybe this can kickstart your spooky season. Maybe this is how you start it off for the month of September. And Because like I said, you can watch this in any order you want. You don't have to start how I started this. You can start whatever you want to start. But if you're going to start with Final Destination, you might as well start with number one. This is a great action horror thriller that... Gives you that intense, the expense. You don't know what's going to come in. And of course, it's such a classic. But, well, that leads us to our another classic for number eight. Number eight. And uh, Conda. Now, this is 
This is Star and Ice Cube. So you, you know you can't go wrong with this one. So maybe so maybe Godzilla ain't the one, man. Maybe maybe Final Destiny ain't the one to get you in the mood for the spooky season. Maybe not Scooby Doo. Maybe not Wednesday. But maybe a giant reptile anaconda snake can get you scared. Maybe they can get you spooked out. Maybe maybe it'll inspire you to put out some pumpkins. Maybe it'll inspire you to play some Halloween jams. Who knows? But definitely check out this classic. It's not everybody's classic. It's not everybody's favorite, but it's a classic that everybody goes to for all Halloween purpose reasons. And you can watch all this stuff with your friends, your family, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your bo- boyfriend. Your side chick, your side man, whatever. It's all for you. Which will go to number nine. Now I had to put something superhero in here. Why would I not? So I decided, okay, there's a lot of Marvel DC stuff that you probably want to wait later on into October. So I decided to put for number nine Sony slash Marvel. Morbius, starring Jared Leto. Now, say what you want to say about that film, how you feel about it, but it is a horror film, and maybe you just want something superhero, but you want some horror in it. You go to Morbius. It's it's it. I like the film. I like. I'll watch it again, anytime. Like I have recently. So there you go. But I love this film, and you should too. I think. But give it a chance. Maybe this not your favorite, but maybe this can help you kickstart off the spooky season. Maybe, maybe you can enjoy a nice pumpkin spice from your favorite coffee place. <laughs> or maybe your pumpkin spice cereal. Uh, I don't know. Anything pumpkin spice, right? Watch it. Chill. Do it with your loved ones, your friends, your family, whoever. This is the film. Now, I do have a spoiler review for this and a non-spoiler review for Morbius. Check it out on the YouTube channel. Great talk in there. Tim official channel. But definitely check this out. I think it's a movie about a vampire. And we like vampires. Now, there's a lot of vampire movies out. But let's not waste them all in one month. Let's, let's, let's spread out those vampire movies and shows until we get to October. But let's sacrifice Morbius for it. So we can get into vampire movies for Halloween spirit. Now, let's get into the final one. The final one. Number 10. Number 10. Netflix's Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And definitely watch all the seasons. Watch all the seasons. They're all out on Netflix. If you, if you're. If you're not ready to watch some of the classic movies about witches, and you want to save it, you want to save the ones that you love. Maybe you're not ready to watch Hocus Pocus Pocus, or Hocus Pocus 2. Maybe you're not ready to watch, you know, anything else that could be, that has witches in there. But But you want to start it off, sacrifice this one. This is the Netflix show, or... They haven't made any new seasons, and they're not planning to, but still on Netflix, and it's such a great show with an amazing cast, and it took a, a classic character, Sabrina, that if you're like me, you grew up watching the old TV show on, on cable, or maybe you're, you're from the comic book era, you know, or, or just into the comic books of Sabrina. This one really takes a different turn on Sabrina and how we're, we kind of view her. We take some. It's not like the show show, but this kind of stays more to the comic books in some ways, not all the ways, but just a little bit. But it takes it, make it a little bit more dark and gritty, a little bit more darker, a little bit more scarier. And, and if you're a fan of Riverdale, you're going to love this. If you're a fan of that, no. Uh, the new, new Pretty Little Liars, you're going to love this. 
I hot commander and watch this one. Now all these on my top ten, I have watched all these before. They're all one of my favorite shows and movies to watch, and they always help me get into the spirit of Halloween. And there's a lot more I can make, but I wanted to make this list for the early birds who want to get ahead, get the Halloween direction decorations up. Maybe they want to start coming, you know, carving some pumpkins and making pumpkin pie or, you know, whatever Halloween related. Maybe you want to put up the, the zombies, the giant skeletons from Costco or Sam's Club, wherever you go, right? This, maybe these could inspire you. So that was my top 10, guys. And thank you so much for, for listening, for checking this out. I hope you do check out these. I think you're going to love them. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk Entertainment 